This is V from a Canadian RVer. In this video, what I'm doing is I'd like to show you how to configure your Wi-Fi Ranger to a hotspot. Could be a jetpack, a MiFi, it could even be a, a, a phone that you have. And most phones now have some pretty decent uh, packages on them for data. And of course, there's always limitations, but you can start with that. Now, in your RV or wherever you have your Wi-Fi Ranger, you might have other devices hooked up to it, like your TV, your Apple TV, or any other device that when you're traveling, you connect to the Wi-Fi Ranger and not to the park's Wi-Fi system. But let's walk through it and, and we'll do the configuration for an iPhone. Now, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you go over and you make your hotspot. The hotspot is on right now. You can see that, so I'm going back and uh, personal hotspot, it's on. Good. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you over to the computer software and show you how to do that, how to configure it to the Wi-Fi Ranger. So now your phone becomes your hotspot to the Wi-Fi Ranger. So the other thing I do to make the phone, the hotspot, work really, really well is I have a Wii Boost, which I've mounted uh, the amp there and the antenna on the roof. And here's my other little antenna, what I call the uh, chocolate bar antenna. And it's right here. So what I do is, um, let me get some better light here for you. What I do is I, I put my phone right on it. And um, I don't know if you can see that corner, but the bars go right up to full power. So the, the antenna is, is picking up a lot better. I'm getting to the cell tower, which is um, conserving my battery and uh, allowing me to use my phone as a hotspot. And then what I do is I just take it and put the whole thing right up in here. So now I've got it really close to the internal Wi-Fi Ranger, the GoTo AC. And I can use either the GoTo AC to pick up the wireless signal, or I can use the Elite AC on the roof. Notebook. And uh, what I'm doing is, first of all, I'm going to check to make sure that I'm talking to the Wi-Fi Ranger. And there it is right there. That's my SID for the web browser once we're ready to go. So we're going to go down here and open up Safari on our web browser. And there we are right there. So now with the web browser, we're talking to the Wi-Fi Ranger GoTo AC. And I've also done a scan there, and you can see where I'm using the GoTo 2.4 internal uh, unit. And sure enough, there it is. It sees my phone because the phone is now uh, broadcasting a signal just like uh, a jetpack, uh, a MiFi, anything that's generating a signal, either 2.4, 5.8, or the Elite AC can also see it too. But since it's uh, I've got it on my dash, it's really close to the Wi-Fi Ranger, I could use the 2.4 or the AC, but let's use the, the 2.4. So there it is right there, it's the top signal, and you see where I've got uh, 42 dB uh, signal details, and that's really cool. Now. Down here where I had, this was where I connect to my cable modem, we're at home base, and this is my second connection to my Wi-Fi Ranger GoTo AC on the second port. And I can use those for connecting other devices. But let's go back to here now. So there's my phone. It's connected right to the top. So if it's your SID, your jetpack, whatever, if it's got a name and a SID. Now the password I've already put into the Wi-Fi Ranger and that's set up over on the second tab, which is V's iPhone right there. All right, so now we're gonna go back. There's my phone. So we're gonna say connect to it. Let's see what happens. It says connecting, authenticating the password. It's obtaining an IP address. There it is, it's got its IP address. And in a second, you'll see where it pops up green way across here. And right now, that's telling me that it's connected to my iPhone or any other hotspot that's generating a signal. So now what you can do, the nice thing about it is, you can come over here to usage and it'll tell you right now, it says internal. So it's the internal Wi-Fi WAN, the download. 
and the upload is still using the same connection, which is the internal Wi-Fi WAN 2.4. And right here, you can see that there's no data bits going through it again. Um, this was the combined with when I was connected to my cable modem here. But right now, so let's go back to the, uh, the main page just to recap. We are connected through the phone. So the phone or any other device is putting out a signal and the Wi-Fi Ranger is picking up that signal. But the Wi-Fi Ranger is also transmitting my SID or another signal into my coach. So now all my devices that were connected here before, I believe it's in the status page, so you can see all these other devices are now theoretically connected through my phone. So I don't have to reconfigure anything uh, that I already have. But the other part that you want to check here, and, and I'll go through it one more time so you have a, a good understanding of it, is rules. Do you remember add a restriction? So now what we're going to do is because let's just face it. I mean, most providers are giving you a good bit of uh, bandwidth and data up and down. So you want to protect that. So in other words, that you don't over um, kill your package. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to pick it up right here. Do you see where it says Internet WAN 2 2.4? So that is the connection point that we're talking to on all our devices. I'm going to say next. Um, then we're going to say, what do we want to do? We want to stop all devices. Good. Select the devices in the range were affected by the restriction. Well, we're going to say all. Then the, 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 the internet access limit. So disable internet access. We're going to say next. And then we're going to say, what days do we want it? Do we want it all the time? We're going to say all day. Here's the, the, the activation type. Now it's, do we want the upload, the download? So if we just do download and not upload, um, we can change whatever we want there. So what I'm trying to show you is just keep going through this process here. And then don't forget, once you do the rule, you must save it. Now I'm not going to save it because I don't want to save any rules. So again, going back to the main page, you can see where we're still connected to my phone and everything is great. Um, we're online and we're using the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. So again, the Wi-Fi Ranger is receiving a signal and talking to my phone, which gives it my internet connection. And the other part is it's also transmitting. If we go back up to the top here, you'll see where I've got the 5.8 and the, the 2.4 should be popping up someplace here very soon. Oh, there's the Elite AC. But at least I'm still talking to the Wi-Fi Ranger on the 5.8. Now, it's always good rule of thumb that if you're using the 2.4 for interacting with your device, go to the 5.8 or to the, oh, there it is, the, the uh, new win 2.4. So it's still there too. And the Elite, it, they're both there. So there's my Wi-Fi Ranger. So theoretically, I'm talking with my notebook to the Wi-Fi Ranger. The Wi-Fi Ranger has got a connection through its radio channels to my phone. And that's a way to hook up uh, and create rules for any other hotspot, Wi-Fi, or any other device that you'd like to use that still produces a SID and a Wi-Fi signal. This is V from a Canadian RVer. We hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. And please let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see configured or how to use the Wi-Fi Ranger. We'd love to do more videos. Again, it's V, Canadian RVer. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up as it helps our channel. And we'll see you in the next video.